Throughout the relatively long lifespan of the Nintendo 3DS, there have been a lot of different variants, some being extremely exclusive and rare, some being pretty common. In this video, I'm going to talk about the most rare 3DS consoles. And I'm not talking about any faceplates or like signed 3DS consoles by any artist or anything. I'm also not going to talk about the 2DS or the 2DS XL, just 3DS, whether it be the new 3DS, 3DS XL, whatever it may be, just regular 3DS. The first one I want to talk about is the Heroes of Ruin console. So this one released in the United States, Europe, Australia, and Japan, and there were apparently four of these ever made, one going to each of those regions. So literally just one console in each of those four regions, which is really cool. And the reason why I picked this one first is because this one is the most interesting to me because they're so rare and so hard to come by, but there's actually a Reddit post that was made by somebody that apparently bought one of these consoles off of the original winner, I think in the US. So the way you could actually acquire this one back in the day was through a sweepstake raffle. So if you were picked in this raffle, then you got the console, pretty much simple as that. So this Reddit post is not popular. It has 33 upvotes, which is wild to me because this is an extremely rare console that nobody has. I mean, four people in the entire world have. There are only four of these made, and apparently this guy actually bought it from one of the winners. He claims that he that many years ago he was actually able to get it from a winner. He didn't say how much he bought it for or if he got it for free. He also knew of its rarity, I guess, in a way because he put it in storage and just kind of forgot about it and rediscovered it recently and said, apparently this is the rarest 3DS console according to ConsoleVariations.com. So he, I guess, randomly had this, didn't know how rare it was originally, and just recently discovered how actually rare this console is. He says that the logo was moved from the inside bottom right to the back, and there's lots of nice detail. The serial number and labels were removed and kept blank. So I believe that there are actually four unique versions to this console, if I'm, if I'm correct. I'm kind of unsure because there's not like a picture of all four of them that I could find, but I believe each one of these four consoles are actually different from each other so they're kind of one of ones i think i may be wrong on that if you guys know please correct me in the comments but just thought this was a really cool story that there's an actual reddit post about this console that somebody apparently has and this post looks legit i don't think that this is a fake console right here let me know if it is though i can't confirm that this guy is 100 percent real i don't know if these are actually just stickers he put on a 3ds but to me looking at the colors compared to the promo pictures it looks legit all right, moving on to the next one. It's actually a Hong Kong exclusive Nintendogs 3DS. There was roughly 1,000 to 5,000 made. It's unclear about the exact amount made, but 5,000 or less were made. Super hard to find. I've actually never seen this before until I made this video. Like, I've never seen this on any YouTube videos or anything. So this came bundled with Nintendogs plus cats. And apparently there was also a European version of this that was a lighter coral pink and this one is more like a hot pink i think this is a really awesome color i know that this isn't like a crazy design or anything it's just a really really cool color but i thought this was unique because it's a hong kong exclusive color with a bundle i just thought that was really really neat i love all the different colors of the 3ds's and there were a few more 3ds's that i want to save maybe for a future video that were just different colors and they're amazing looking but the next one is the sunday night football 3ds this one you may or may not have heard about. I feel like people have made videos about this one, but there were about 50 or less of these made. It's a really bland, boring design. I think it's literally just a, like, emblem stuck onto a 3DS, which is boring, but it was officially licensed, meaning, like, Nintendo gave them the go-ahead and okay to do this, essentially. So, apparently one of these actually sold on Shop Goodwill, which is Goodwill's online store, for $500. I don't actually have proof of this, other than just a random reddit post about somebody claiming that it sold for about 500 bucks on the goodwill's online shop i could definitely see how a collector would want this just because of how rare it is and it being officially licensed there are a lot of consoles out there that are not like officially licensed some unofficial consoles with really cool designs but it's just better when they're licensed because that gives it the authenticity and everything I mean, it's even cooler when it's officially released by Nintendo and it's a crazy design, but I think licensed consoles are super awesome anyway. The next one is the 8 Ranger 2 console, which I've never actually heard of before, but this one was only released in Japan. Exactly 100 of these were made, and they were sold or I guess given out through a sweepstake through Haichu, which is like a candy, just kind of similar to Starburst if you haven't heard of Haichu campaign and to win you had to purchase the 12 grain series haichu 
or the assortment series or premium series there's a lot i guess and then you had to mail in the barcode eight barcodes were required to win this and then i guess you just kind of won it if they picked you this contest ran from august 5th 2014 to september 30th 2014 so about a month and a half almost two months this giveaway thing was given out and I think it's a really unique one too. It is just a plain black 3DS with a really cool decal, but the decal is unique enough and it's officially licensed. I'm unsure of the value of this one though. I'd assume it's gotta be in the $700 range just because of how rare it is. The next one is the Koro Koro Comics 35th Anniversary Console, which was released in Japan in 2012, officially licensed. Like I said, all these consoles are officially licensed. And there were also exactly a hundred of these made. This one, the color palette is really similar to the last one being like black and gold. It's also ran through a sweepstake. The only information I can really find about this one is that it was available through the Koro Koro magazine. So there's probably some sort of... I have a picture of the actual magazine itself. It's a crazy looking magazine. Like that's insane. Super awesome. I don't even know where to look. There's yo-yos. I see a Wii. I I candies, I think. I don't know. But you can see on the top left, there's the promo ad for the giveaway for the console. Looks really awesome. This next one is an official release by Nintendo, and it is the Club Nintendo Super Mushroom Console, which was apparently released in Australia, but I thought that there were actually different variants of this one released throughout, like, Japan, Europe, and Australia, but I might be wrong on that. This one, there was only 50 of them made, and it's a really awesome design with the mushroom face plate, I guess. And I really like how the inside of the console is white and black. I think that looks great. This one to me just looks premium. And I'd be afraid to use this one because it's white. You know, getting it all dirty and everything. Um, so it was through the Club Nintendo Promotion Lottery. Which I don't know exactly what that entails. But I think it's super cool. And I would love to have this one. I would say this has got to be in the several hundred dollar range probably i'd say once again maybe like 700 if i had to just guess just because of how limited and rare it is next up we got another official release by nintendo this was another club nintendo and it is the choto mario console this one as well really unique color palette the box is really like simple but i like that i think that's really cool and it matches the aesthetic well so it looks like the bottom of the console is red and then the top of it is blue but i think this one is really simple but in a great way because there are no other 3DSs that look like this with the blue and red just, just like that. And it's like you can immediately realize that this is Mario. Apparently there were a thousand of these exactly made. It was released in Japan only. Once again, ran through the Club Nintendo Promotion Lottery. So I guess same way as the previous one. The next one is the Nintendo 3DS 3 Plus Pack. So this one is interesting to me. I don't really understand this. I guess it was just a bundle, but apparently between one to 5,000 of these were made, so 5,000 or less. It's officially released in Japan, and it came with the console, a large touch pen, and a cloth. So I don't know if there's anything specifically special about the color of the console that came in this. I'm assuming that it's white. The information that I have here says that it came in a white color, but on the box it also has a picture of a red 3DS, so I don't know if that's just like some random promotional thing, or if it was just all white, or if maybe if there was a version that had red. I think an all-white 3DS is awesome, though. We got another official release from the Club Nintendo. This one is the Peach console, only released in Europe. This one kind of reminds me of the DS Lite that was pink back in the day, back in, you know, mid-2000s. Some of these pictures look different. So it looks like the faceplate, like the top of the 3DS, or the outside outer shell, is like more of a hot-ish pink, and then the inside is more of a coral-ish pink, kind of like a bronzy coral pink, I guess, if that makes sense. There were a thousand of these made, and it was not a bundle, and it was also just ran for the same Nintendo promotion lottery. So, another one of these lottery things. Looks like they gave out a lot of these, so I don't know if you just won these, or if you had to actually buy it. Like, if you were chosen to buy it, I'd assume you won it for free. I can't imagine you having to pay for it, but it is a lottery, so maybe you had to, like, buy a certain thing, and then you would just be specifically picked. Like, if you bought, like, a keychain, maybe you had to earn points or something like that, and then the winner just got one. I'm not exactly sure. I've never done one of these lotteries before. Next up, we got the Monster Hunter 3D Console Bundle. So, this one's a little bit less rare compared to a lot of them that we've talked about. Between 5,000 and 10,000 of these were made. Still extremely rare, though. I love the faceplate on this one. 
I only have one very low res picture of this, but it looks really, really sick. And it was just a console bundle that came with the Monster Hunter 3D game. I've always loved the red 3DSs. I wanted one so bad. Um, yeah, I just really like red, and I think this one is really cool. The box art, I think, is the best part about it, though. The box art looks incredible. And the last one is a technicality, okay? This one is a technically passing one. I'm not going to directly count it as a rare 3DS, but it also is. So this is a gyroscope diagnostic jig station. So it's like a 3DS attached to a giant box with a bunch of buttons that I'm assuming just kind of test out the console and make sure everything is working. I'm assuming that this is just a testing kit type of thing. Like a 3DS is attached to this ginormous box and you press these buttons probably just testing out all the hardware, the firmware, probably everything about it. Apparently they were made in 2010 and updated in 2013. So I guess, you know, that's pretty cool. It would run software that could control the test sequence. So I guess a specific type of sequence that went through the 3DS's files and everything, maybe making sure everything is, is uh, safe. I don't really know. This was released in Japan and between one and 50 of these were made. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you know any other 3DS consoles that are extremely rare, that are either officially released or just licensed from Nintendo, let me know in the comments. I definitely saved some for a future video, so I didn't get all of them. But there are a lot of consoles out there. There are a lot of special ones, really unique ones. Let me know what your favorite console from this video was, guys. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.